Hello guys, welcome back to the channel Excellent Trade after a long time. Uh, in this video, we'll see how to fix the data connection error with the NSA India website, uh, the old site as well as the new site. Uh, let's go to the website of the NSA India first. So this is the new website. First, let's fix for the old one. Uh, you can access the old version still by uh, clicking on this link here or you can navigate to www.nsindia.com. Just click here. It will open the new URL for you. And uh, as usual, let's go to equity stock and inspect. These are all the previous steps. I'm just repeating to identify what went wrong. Okay. And uh, just change the values here. Anything. Maybe a four stocks and go to network. You should get the URL. This I think everybody might have known who have watched my videos earlier. Click on this. So copy the URL. And uh, open the Excel as usual from web. If you're not getting the from web tab here, just go to get data and uh, you can find from web. Okay. Paste the URL and you will be clicking on OK. So got the error unable to connect. The underlying connection was closed and unexpected error occurred on your issue. What does that mean is the server is not responding to your connection what you have made via the NS India website. Okay. A uh, few might be thinking that NS India site has blocked your IP or blocked your system all those things. It is not because if it is blocked you cannot view it via your browser also. Okay. So let's see what went wrong here. If you see uh, the request headers you can find there are a lot of things I have added now. Let's uh, see one by one. So this is accept which means it is accept as a JSON language, a JavaScript, all those stuffs. I don't want to uh, go much deeper in that. Let's take a uh, few values only. Accept encoding, accept language and uh, user agent. Okay. These are all the three main headers which you want to choose. Apart from that, there is one more which is very important because these three you all might have tried out already and uh, still you might wondering why it's not working out. The third one is NS India has introduced something called cookie. Okay. You might have seen all these things earlier also, but the new thing here is this BMSV value. Okay. So this is the cookie being set into your system and based on that the values are retried. Okay. Uh, let's make it how to do that. So click on edit. Go to advanced. Just have the same URL. Here just make accept encoding first. Go here again. Accept encoding. Just copy this. Just deflate is enough. You can make it. And then go to the next one. Accept language. Go to, I mean, copy this. What actually we are doing is we are uh, making this request as mimic as a browser. That is what the header will do. Okay. So you are making this user agent as well. Choose user agent here. And uh, the next one is cookie. Ensure that you are copying the value alone that is from D till this equal symbol. Don't copy this semicolon, okay? But ensure you copied the last equal to as well. Now we have given this and uh, just click OK. Well, we got the error again. Let me tell you why it is. This is the reason because um, there is a problem with the Microsoft Power Query, Excel Power Query, the way it is sending the header. Okay. So just click edit again. I will tell you what is the reason. Uh, so if you see here, this is actually uh, the semantics of the Power Query, how it works, Power by or Power Query, whatever it is. This is the way it is been sending uh, the accept encoding, accept language. But if you check the browser, you can find out there is a iPhone. And uh, sometimes this is the reason I found Google did a lot. There are a lot of bugs being reported especially for this and there is no solution yet. So to do this, you have to do this via the coding, but uh, Excel will not allow you to go to that advanced editor still. Okay. For that, what we'll do is 
just go to i mean go to google and uh, search for sample rest api okay you will get the first link itself uh, something like uh, the request this is a sample data okay we don't care about what is the data itself just copy the url and uh, instead of this nse india url paste the new url okay i think remaining all should be fine just click okay it will connect to that and uh, if you are a new first time you are connecting to that you may get uh, how to connect make it as anonymous when it is coming and also ensure that you are setting all the um, privacy levels to ignore privacy okay fine so we got the data here we came reached the uh, this editor as well and uh, if you are well versed in program you can go for the blank query as well and directly write the program but this is for who are uh, not willing to i mean not much aware of how to come here okay so click on the advanced editor now you can see the urls here let's copy the url of nsc india okay so i'm going to copy this url so the url is changed okay and uh, let's change all these headers you need to make it as hash symbol this is the format you need to follow and uh, add a hyphen between accept and encoding change it to accept encoding and similarly accept language a hash and semi uh, sorry quotes hyphen and then the language and finally the user agent just close the quotes you'll get the error because uh, i forgot to add the hash you need to add the hash symbol here okay that's it and cookie value is this one okay to make it simplify what i'll do is i'll just copy the cookie value and assign it to a variable for easy access ensure you are copying whatever in the quotes okay i'm just assigning it as cookie string i will tell you why i made this in few minutes cookie string equal to this one ensure you close the quotes and added a comma uh, you should get this no syntax error otherwise it will fail okay so now we have the nsc india url fo stock watch uh, json and uh, we have added all the headers and as well as the cookie click done uh, okay so it is missing this it is because the spelling mistake the variable name because i have given the this thing as cookie string here i missed the t okay just press enter voila the data has come just click as usual go for the list these are all as earlier i have shown click to table i mean these are all records just click to table make it expand the column okay and close and load so you got the data here and uh, you can refresh this and you won't get any error it will get a, a thing okay uh, mostly when you have opened this url in your browser this cookie may not get expired most of the time if it is expired then you have to copy this and uh, just replace the already existing cookie okay this may be a tiresome job uh, every time go to the advanced editor and doing these things so what we'll do is let's do this create a sheet named cookies okay and uh, create a table and uh, paste it here okay and i'm just renaming it as cookies just select these two cells and go to data column and make it as from table range and just ensure you select my table as headers if you have added this header okay click okay so you'll be getting like this and uh, just give drill down so that you will get uh, only the values of this okay but this is still uh, not a function because we just need to call call this value from uh, this particular function for that just go to advanced editor just type let 
you are converting this into a function i mean i have already explained this in the previous videos uh, just make the function name equal to equal to and this arrow mark and finishing in cookie don't worry much about this or just follow this okay just add a let cookie equal to open bracket close bracket equal to greater than symbol and at the bottom in cookie so this name should be same as whatever you are giving here if you are giving here Suresh and you should be giving here also Suresh okay and ensure that there is no syntax errors have been detected just click done you should get this as uh, changed into this function symbol fx symbol okay rename this function name cookies or whatever name you want and just test it invoke you will get the values here and uh, you can just may delete this as well ensure you otherwise it will create a new state and load the value now go to this fo stock watch and uh, advanced editor here instead of this big value change it to cookies function and ensure you have added the comma okay and click done and you can do refresh preview it will be loaded and you can do close load okay so the data will be loaded so every time if it is getting expired or you are getting the error message just changing this cookie value here will be enough for this okay so this is with respect to uh, the old url so you have to follow the same thing uh, for all the other urls in that you just need all these uh, parameters accept encoding accept language cookie and uh, user agent this is the main thing you want to be added okay let's come back to the new one so the new one is also the same if anyone wants to use the same thing just go to market data and uh, you can click equity and sme market same how we have done there earlier okay and uh, i will let you know why i am showing this just choose inspect and uh, as usual choose whatever you want okay this is changed as securities in f4 there f4 stock but here it is securities in f4 just click network once it is loaded go to the top and you can find this URL okay the best thing about the new website is everything is coming as part of API kind of thing I mean even though it is not publicly available API open to the users they are calling it in the back end they are using it as kind of API stuff rest API stuff just copy the URL go to edit the cookies will be same it will be the same cookies you can use across uh, all the nsc india urls okay so what i'll do is i'll just duplicate this okay and uh, making it as new okay go to advanced editor just change the url to the new one nothing else i have changed remaining everything is retained just click done you got the data but still it is showing all null i will tell you the reason let's go one by one cookie string is coming source is coming data is coming so we got the record and uh, we are converting into the table and then we are expanding the column okay this expand column we since we have copied from the old data it has everything copied uh, expanded symbol open high low ltp points uh, change percentage trade volume and just all these parameters okay if you see all are in the smaller letter but in the new version it has changed so how to fix that just delete this last row if you're doing it freshly then uh, no need to worry just clicking table and convert to table after that uh, just expanding this automatically will come for you no need to worry about uh, removing all those things because if you see the name has changed a lot of name click ok and you should get all these uh, values you can choose whatever you want and uh, ignore whatever you don't want yearly high yearly low near week high week low there are a lot of things they have added which may be useful for your trading as well percentage change 30 day and uh, there is something called meta you can expand it further again and click ok and this meta is about information about the company okay so it will give you the company name industry which is the sector and uh, here again you can go to this list if you want but uh, if you're clicking on the list it will convert it again in a different way so don't do that uh, just go again so there are a few other uh, parameters for that which may not be needed for you or may be needed for your according to your trading okay 
and uh, just click close and load so you'll get the data here do refresh you should get so the same cookie will be working for any url in the website uh, for the, this thing so all my earlier power queries will work with respect to this okay even for the option chain as well as well as in the old one also you can go to equity derivatives uh, i forgot that where we have to option chain I have opened it. Uh, this is option chain, the same thing, the nothing has changed except this www1. So the previous option chain URL, the same URL should be working. Even though you give uh, just www also, if you're giving the full URL for the option key, it will get redirected to the same page here. So you no need to worry about uh, the previous thing. Only thing you need to add is additional this headers and cookies uh, to make it work, okay? Um, yeah, that's it with respect to fetching the data from NS India website to the URL. So nothing has blocked, nothing has broken. Uh, it is just a kind of standard update. Okay. And uh, I have updated in the Excelling Trade Web Store the Max Payne expiry prediction and option chain analysis for making this change. Cookies. Uh, everything is updated with the URL and all those uh, changes. Okay. So you can just download and uh, cookies just update the cookie and uh, both the seats will be working fine. And uh, mainly if you're changing the URL, ensure that uh, this particular part, because certain thing, certain URL has been changed to new URL, which may not be working. So say for example, this FO stock watch. So if you're going to use new URL or the old URL, it's up to you. If you're using new URL, ensure that you are uh, from this section, you may need to make the change. Till data, it will be fine. After that, converting into table and expanding what columns you want to because it has changed. It has changed to day high, day low. Earlier, it was just high and low. LTP and here it is changed to last price, previous close, change, percentage. Term. So those columns, you need to make the change. Okay. Thank you so much for watching and uh, soon I will post the video about how to make this fix in the Python request as well, uh, Python module and I will show you how to do that as well. Okay. And unfortunately here uh, you have to do manually. Um, I don't see, I mean, uh, with just Excel, you can't do this uh, to get this automatically, but I will show you how to fetch this automatically in the Python as well in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Keep subscribing and keep supporting.